and welcome to this edition of Fivers, in which we sample five films about love. Only these films are about a specific kind of love story, where obstacles like personal circumstances or even world events conspire to separate two people. This sampler features movies about star-crossed lovers. The phrase itself stems from a play by William Shakespeare about the doomed love between two of the most well-known star-crossed lovers of all, Romeo and Juliet. First we have, in 1874, a person is born on the coldest day on earth, a day so cold that his heart freezes. A kindly woman saves his life by replacing his frozen heart with a cuckoo clock. But she warns him, as he grows older, that there are three things he must remember in order to survive. Never touch the hands of the clock. Don't lose your cool. Be mild as a dove. But the most important thing of all is never, 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 never fall in love. Ultimately, it's love, which will be his undoing. There are some spoilers coming up. If you'd like to skip past the spoiler section, you can just click here. Next, a film with a Romeo and Juliet center, about lovers separated by warring factions, only with a mystical bent. A young boy is saved from a pack of wolves by a mysterious young girl, who calls them away with a song on her pipe. Years later, the two meet again, only this time in battle. The film features magic battles, passion, pageantry, sacrifice, revenge, and a love story on a scale which is probably best described as epic. Next, a classic title. In Roman Holiday, a crown princess is rescued by a journalist who plans to sell a story about the runaway royal to the highest bidder. But then, he falls in love with her. The princess story, the exclusive. Did you get it? No, I didn't get it. Say, you can't hold out on me. Who's holding out on you? You are. First, you ask about an exclusive. Then you disappear. And then I hear a rumor that the princess isn't sick at all. She's out on the town. You believe every two-bit rumor you hear. What kind of journalist are you? Yeah, and a lot of other rumors. It all adds up. Want some coffee? Don't you change the subject. When you showed up in my office yesterday, look, I thought I had a lead. I was wrong. I want that story, Joe. I don't have a story to sell you. The runaway royal is self-absorbed and thoughtless, but eventually learns a hard lesson when forced to choose between her duty to a nation and her own heart. Next, we have a Romeo and Juliet pair, separated by conflicting allegiances. It happens that their allegiances are to North and South Korea. One is a sniper who's sworn to complete a mission to assassinate several politicians, even at the cost of her own life. The other is an agent on the other side, who has to stop her. The story spotlights violence, news spin, duty, rebellion, sacrifice, and ideologies at war, but addresses broader political issues in visceral and intensely personal ways. Next, a rebellious and strong-willed advocate meets a silent prisoner and tries to make sense of a case with a puzzling mystery at its heart. Fear has been in prison for 22 years. He speaks to no one and seems indifferent as to whether he lives or dies. His visitor is finally able to break through the wall of silence, yet fear refuses to let his counselor call anyone to testify on his his behalf. I have to mention her name. No. Let me bring even one person to the court. We have to. In a second, the verdict will swing to our favor. You'll be free. You have to understand me. We're losing this case. A lot of prisoners' cases come up after they're dead. You'll never get this opportunity again. Never. You'll die in vain. You'll die. You'll die lying right here. You'll die. Don't you understand me? But although this stoic prisoner is willing to stay silent onto the grave, his visitor refuses to let an innocent person die in prison. The prisoner refuses to speak up to save himself, but his counselor finds one person who will. Along with an epic love story, the film features lavish musical numbers, which help relate Veer and Zara's love story and their final fate. And finally, the five films already mentioned are stories about fictional lovers. But here's a bonus title about real-life lovers separated by fate. Historical drama. Admiral or Admiral. The film relates the story of poet Anna Timiryova and naval commander Alexander Kolchak. In this case, political events separate them when Kolchak is executed in 1920 at the age of 45. Timiryova lives for years afterwards, but her life is made a misery by the Soviet regime as she's considered to be an enemy of the state due to her early connection to Kolchak. As is the case with historical dramas, the movie is a blend of fact and fiction. Private conversations would of course have to be imagined and scripted, but otherwise the majority of scenes are actually based on substantiated material. The main theme from the soundtrack for the film is titled Anna. And the lyrics are from a poem to Meryova wrote about Kolchak, half a century after Kolchak's death, and only five years before Timiryova's own death in 1975. So those are five movies and a bonus title about star-crossed lovers. Feel free to add additional titles below. Thanks for joining us and see you in the next episode.